today is the Friendship Festival, and every pony is working to make sure everything is ready. How could we be out of balloons? We still have five more balloon sculptures to create. Despite some last minute setbacks, every pony is still working hard to prepare for the festival. Oh no! That cake is heading straight for Princess Twilight! With our Princess Twilight in charge, I'm sure this will be the friendliest friendship festival ever. Songbird Serenade here. Fabulous for now, but I won't stay fabulous. Songbird Serenade? Is it really you? I mean, of course it's you. Oh, I'm so flustered. Come this way and I'll show you the stage. Suddenly, the festival has a problem. The worst party crasher ever has arrived. Tempest, a strange unicorn with a broken horn. She demands that the princesses surrender their magic to her. I have been sent by the Storm King! Now surrender Equestria's magic, or be turned to stone! Fly, Twilight, fly! Those green orbs are stone-cold dangerous! I don't think this one is a unicorn at all! Go, Twilight! You must find the Queen of the Hippo- ah! Three of the princesses are turned to stone. But Twilight and her friends cleverly evade Tempest Storm creatures by falling into a giant waterfall. I would swim after them, but my mother makes me wait 45 minutes after I eat. Come on in, y'all! The water's fine! We did it! That was our best water assisted escape ever! Before she was turned into a statue, Celestia told Twilight to seek help from the Queen of the Hippo. But she and her friends have never heard of the Queen of the Hippo. We'll find the Queen of the Hippo somehow, someway. That Tempest packs a lot of magic in that horn of hers, broken or not. Okay, I guess going back to fight those storm creatures now might be a bit reckless. But one of these days, let me- I can't believe we're off on an expedition. I didn't even have time to properly pack. Tempest reports back to her leader, the Storm King, that Twilight has escaped. For now, Tempest vows to recapture her, so that the Storm King will keep his promise and restore her broken horn. I can't hear you with this lousy spell reception, but when I arrive in three days, my magical staff better be ready! I must capture Twilight! The combined magic of the four princesses is the only way to power the mystical staff of Sakonis. Okay, maybe we let the little pony and her friends get away, but the upside is, look at all the scrumptious desserts they left! In search of the Queen of the Hippo, the ponies journey beyond Equestria and end up in a strange place called Clooptown. Luckily, they are rescued from a would-be kidnapper by the dapper and charming Capper. What's a nice filly like you doing in a place like this? I'm not 100% sure about this capper fellow, but we could sure use a friend about now. Heidi ho folks! Can any pony here tell us where the Queen of the Hippo lives? I don't know what's worse, that these low-down two-bit vendors think they can buy and sell us, or how low the prices are. While looking at some books at Capper's Manor, they discover they need to find the Queen of the Hippogriffs, not Hippo. They also discover that Capper is up to no good.
This book shows that the Queen of the Hippogriffs lives up in those mountains. I think Kappa really likes the brand new waistcoat I made him. With shiny brass buttons, too. You said you would sell me the ponies, Kappa. So don't try to back out now! At least we found a true friend. I'm so happy I could unleash a sonic rain boom! Kappa is having second thoughts about selling the ponies due to Rarity's generosity and seeing their strong bond. Just then, Tempest arrives and it's time for another daring escape. Every pony jumps out the window onto a spinning windmill, which helps them get away. Don't let them get away again! Come on, storm creatures! Double serving to storm stew tonight! If you can pull that windmill back! We've just got to get out of Tempest's range. Broken horn or not, she's got strong magic. Let's take this windmill out for a spin. Or maybe that's a poor choice of words. They've escaped Tempest for now. But to get to the Hippogriff's home on the mountain, the ponies need an airship. Any airship. This one looks... nice. Well, I'll hand it to y'all. A runaway windmill isn't all fired comfortable, but it sure is fast. I've been on prettier ships, but I guess fleers can't be choosers. With a sturdy airship like this, we'll be up the Hippogriff's Mountain in... Oh, looky! The crew is all dressed up as pirates! Oh, wait a second. Once upon a time, Captain Selena was a bold swashbuckler. But now she just goes by the book. And the book says throw stowaways overboard. Back in the day, I might have joined your adventure. But the rulebook clearly states, stowaways get the heave ho. Wait, you gave up on being pirates just so the Storm King can make you run delivery errands for him? Thank goodness they took time for a lunch break before tossing us overboard. I was a mite hungry. Oh, Gruel? Thank you so much, but I was really thinking of a nice, fresh green salad with a raspberry vinaigrette dressing. The ponies inspire Captain Seleno and her crew to start being awesome again. Rainbow Dash celebrates with a sonic rain boom. Oops! Now Tempest can see exactly where they are. You ponies are right. Being awesome is the only way to be. Oh no, that sonic rain boom can be seen for miles. Now that's what I call getting your mojo back! Captain Seleno and the pirates stalled Tempest to buy the hidden ponies time for one more clever escape. Jumping out into midair! Oh yeah, then building a hot air balloon while they fall. No, they escaped my clutches again. My clutches really need work. Jumping out? That was our plan? Well, alrighty then. <laughs> We're falling. Oh no! On the plus side, this windblown look is very fetching. I have everything I need to make us a nice escape balloon. The ponies arrive at Hippogriffia at last, but it seems no one is there until they catch a glimpse of a creature in a fountain pool and give chase, only to be swallowed up in a whirlpool. Look, someone just jumped in over here. We need to follow them. Well, this Hippogriffia place is definitely abandoned. I guess swimming out isn't the worst idea. This is really going to make a mess of my coiffure. I can't even. They are saved by Princess Skystar, a sea pony who quickly becomes a good friend and brings them home to her mom, Queen Novo. Running from the Storm King? I'm so glad I saved you. I am totally taking you home to my mom. 
I'm underwater. I am underwater. I'm in water. In fact, under it. Water. Me. Under. Any enemy of the Storm King is a friend of ours. Oh, a bubble head. I can breathe, which is one of my favorite activities. Queen Novo doesn't trust strangers, but since they both dread the Storm King, she tells the ponies how she used a special magic pearl to transform her ponies from hippogriffs into sea ponies. Now you're all sea ponies, thanks to the magical pearl of transformation that protects us here. These fins are divine! I don't feel like a sea pony. I bet Celestia sent us here hoping that Magic Pearl could help us fight the Storm King. Twilight asked to use the pearl to fight the Storm King.